welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gang Plank Plunder. It's going to be our next donation deck today. It's, it's uh, donation deck days. So we got all sorts of viewer submitted lists. This one is all about um, plundering and t turning on damage every single turn because our two champions are both Gangplank and Sejuani. They have the same level up. You've damaged the enemy Nexus in five different rounds. You've damaged the enemy Nexus in five different rounds. So that's what we're trying to do. Every single turn, we want to be damaging the enemy Nexus. So because of that, we got Prowling Cutthroat in here as a one drop um, that you know does a really good job of damaging the enemy Nexus, having Elusive. We got warning shots and make it rains that we're going to be casting on their turn. We'll just fire them off just to uh, get our level up triggers because we're trying to level these up by turn five. Ideally, you know, if not turn six, trying to get those leveled up. We also got some monkey idols as a three drop because we get those powder monkeys and those powder monkeys at the end of turn will do one to the nexus. So we could play monkey idol on our turn and we get the powder monkey on their turn and it will do one damage to the opponent on their turn. Another way to do that, to level up these two. And then basically we just have our leveled up champions kind of win the game from there. <laughs> and then, you know, besides that, we got all sorts of good bilge water cards because we want Yordle Grifters and Yordle Grifters makes more warning shots for us. Um, so we have all these plunder effects, you know, with all the steel cards that are amazing, pilfered goods, black market merchant. And then top end Riptide Rex and Citrus Courier Karen Care Care Caring Caring, sorry, <laughs> I'd started to think I was saying carrying, but no, caring about plunder as well. <laughs> I like short circuited there for a second. All right, anyway, let's uh, play some Gang Plank Plunder. Five games over and ranked, like always. No, Sejuani is five rounds as well. Um, what what kind of dogs do I have? I have a Shiba Inu. That's puppy. And then Harvey is an Australian Shepherd. Um, okay, so I like the Cutthroat. And then we got Hired Gun on turn two, or Pilfer Goods on turn two, Grifter later on. It looks solid. I think I'm perfectly fine with keeping these. Puppy, I'll come over here. Puppy. Oh, come on, puppy. Oh, big. 25 pound puppy dog. He's a puppy. She's a sheep at you knew. Puppy. He's like, what am I doing up here? They never stop! I'm trying to reach, reach the mouse. Eyes up here, or I'll cut him out. <gasps> All right, thanks, Bubby. And then Harvey, you can see Har you can Harvey's laying on the. See, she's laying on the. She's uh, fifty-five pounds. She's laying back there. On the, you can kind of see her on the. Wood floor. She thinks that's cooler than the um, cooler temperature-wise. Then the carpet. You weren't using it. Yeah, you weren't really using that vile feast anyway. We'll take that off your hands. So, so turn six would be the earliest that we'll have Gangplank available. Leveled up, that is. Oh, she came on in here now. Maybe you can see her a little better. There she is. There's Harvey. Puppy's like right there too. They're both like, why, why are you saying our names? All right, anyway, let's... I don't get to block Callista. Hmm. Oh, 
doesn't cast this thing. Darn, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do one of it to them. That plan did not work out. That plan did not work out too well at all. All right, focus on playing. Yeah, I could have just cast it in combat, that's true. Thorwolf just hit gold. Good job. Use Misfortune, Gangplank, Katarina, Plunder deck. Hitting gold. Good job. Nice. Got you all the way. Yeah, got you through that last part of silver. Good job. Yeah, basically none of this worked out at all. I was thinking like the, I should just played like the hired gun first. I yeah, I just really messed that turn up. So we're gonna see if I can. Uh, you know, now this is where we're at. We're gonna refocus on the game now, and we'll see if we can uh, bring the game home from here. But yeah, I, I definitely should could even like yeah, the make it rain was just a really poor play. Could have done it during combat, which would have been better, or could have just. Played the hired gun and get this Callista, you know, get the Callista vulnerable, which is that's what I wanted. It's like I wanted vulnerable Callista and have make it rain do a damage or something like that, but and trying to get damage on them, but it just did not work out. Can see the Demastian border from here. I never disclose my sources. Well, that's nice. Get those out of there. So I can't I can't cast a vile feast right now before combat, right? Like I don't want to level up I don't want to level up their Callista right now. Yeah. That's really good getting those cards out of there. Those are some scary cards. <laughs> yeah, you can make a general, just keep playing. It's okay. It's okay. It's perfectly fine to be stuck, um, you know, somewhere. Like, you definitely go through uh, good streaks and bad streaks and. Um, you know, don't feel bad if you're stuck anywhere, honestly. Just keep working at it. There's nobody outside. I don't know what Harvey was barking at. Hmm. 
I've really played this poorly, haven't I? Make it worth my while. I feel like I've played this poorly. Um, so plan, kill Legion Grenadier, so then they don't have anything protecting their Callista. Callista, Gangplank Trade. But yeah, I could have just done this with Yordle Grifter. I didn't have to do this with Gangplank. Firing that off to get some upgrades, get some levels. I'm not greedy, my friends, though. So what do we have for failure cards in here? Besides Sejuani, we have Ruthless Raider. All right, so our top card's either Ruthless Raider or Sejuani. We know it's one of those two. If our Mega Rain would have hit them, we could have had a leveled up Gangplank this turn for attack end wise. Which would have been nice. Hmm. Alright, looks like we're going to be blocking a 7 7. Cannot stop. Can't really stop Atrocity if they have another Atrocity, can I? Okay, maybe that can. Unless they go straight for atrocity. Yeah, I like this list that we're playing with Gangplank and Sejuani. I, I feel bad. I, I completely played this game. I played this game very poorly. I just made a lot of mistakes. I wasn't really focusing the first few turns, and I, I made a lot of mistakes. You know, we're human. But I like the I like this list. I Yeah, I like this list. Pain is nothing. Getting rid of this, getting this, I'm frostbiting the Sejuani because it, it, uh, you know, has the overwhelm. I don't want to do like the 7-7 seven, because seven, they'd still just have Sejuani challenge the 01. Fresh meat. You know, I am chump blocking the 7-7, seven, seven, but Face that's fine. It's just how life is.
And I don't think there's really any difference between which one we block with. I mean, Black Market Merchant could have Yordle Grifter card cost one less. One good turn. So might as well, I guess. Block with the Yordle Grifter. Yeah, Sejuani Swain's good. Okay, so Warning Shot would level up Sejuani and Gangplank right now. However, so I should probably do it. Hmm. However, I really need Warning Shots to be able to instant speed or you know burst to burst speed Frostbite their team. So I'd really like to just do one damage to them with like something else and keep like two warning shots um you know just keep multiple warning shots like uh bring me chaos Um, maybe, maybe your list hasn't been going too well. I'll show you my, this is my scout midrange list that we played, um, just three days ago. If you want to check that out, Adam, maybe that will help out a little bit. But no, I, as far as mobilitics goes, like the whole S tier, A tier, B tier, I, I really don't recommend listening to that too much. Um, you know, he said you get a deck that says it's S tier, but you can't win with it. Honestly, it's just, it's pretty, I don't know, superficial to, to just declare those different tiers like that. What I, what I would recommend, what I think is a, a better resource is right underneath that meta tier list, it has the meta stats and it shows the win rates of different decks and with um, and with specific lists. You know, if you click on it and you can kind of look at lists, you know, um, and it, it'll show like which lists have which, what kind of win rate and like over how many games and stuff like that. So that's that's like the, the resource as far as that kind of stuff for the for Mobilitics that I think is amazing that I really recommend. I can't double spell with my different things, even though I want to. We don't risk Sejuani dying. I don't just attack with Sejuani and try to go attack Riptide Rex. We can't have Sejuani die. Yeah, you don't want to cross. I think we need Warning Shot more than anything else. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm playing Yordle Grifter. Um, even though I'd, I'd rather be playing Gangplank this turn, but I can't go Gangplank and Yordle Grifter, but I need a Warning Shot because I can't... Because I need something so I, I don't just die to Atrocity. I mean, I guess I have my own Atrocity I can sacrifice too. But I, th I think this is pretty clutch, getting a warning shot. Hey, Faint. Do I think Ezreal is interesting and hard to play around? Hard to play around, yes. You know, you can't have like some tricks with like your glimpse, be your own kind of glimpse beyond, and using removal on your own things and stuff like that to keep the level up. But the interesting part, eh, I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest, of Ezreal. Just the the kind of gameplay that Ezreal. Um, to 
those. That promotes the kind of gameplay that Ezreal promotes. Didn't draw a single thing to play. It's unfortunate. Everyone's a garden. Uh, Sejuani Overwhelm is the other deck that we have, the other donation deck. It's Sejuani, Noxus with, you know, like Might and uh, Stormclaw are seen that gives Overwhelm to five power things. And it has like the three mana 4-3 Overwhelm and the three mana 5-4 and stuff like that. So the problem with Warning Shot Rex is there is a Neverglade Collector over there. We do have to be worried about. A lot of other things die in. It's the problem with the warning shot, Riptide Rex. Love that they attacked the Neverglade Collector. Love that. That'll level up Sejuani. If I go Riptide Rex, I don't have too much else available. Hmm. I think we're okay with Riptide Rex. Yeah, Citrus, Citrus Courier is a little safer. Gaining the three life right now while, while we for sure have Plunder. But I think this is a, it's kind of a nice time to play Riptide Rex right now before, um, like while while they're frostbitten, so like we're kind of tapping out for this. We don't have to worry about an atrocity. Still too many cannonballs. Champions are leveled up. They're out there. I'll spot them. The 
champions are leveled up. All right, am I playing you or not? Let's see. If I don't play you, I'll have 12 mana next turn. So this would be five, so I'd have seven extra mana. It's an awkward number to have. If I play you, I have six. I could have like courier plus atrocity. Gosh, they had that? And they just attacked with Neverglade Collector? Dang. Lady Elise, where are you? That's a good draw. Can turn on my plunder for the orange man. And Gangplank could too, though. But I think I'd, like, if we can play one of these cards, Gangplank or Courier, and I think that, or they who went there, you know, like, we can play one of these. And I think Courier is the one to play. I guess, uh, I don't, I don't have enough, though, for Make It Rain and Atrocity and Courier. If I have Make It Rain Atrocity, that's seven, and so I only have four mana. Darn, if I didn't play this thing, I could have gone Gangplank also. Bring me chaos. I guess I don't need Atrocity available if I just keep this available. As long as that actually frostbites. I am reborn of salt Maybe we can do this. Maybe we don't need Courier. I'm feeling good for where we're at right now. Blocks. You have to get me out of here. That's the smart block. So they just want to save as much life as they can. Because yeah, the the powerful explosion will do two damage to all the enemies and the nexus, which is critical dealing damage to the nexus, so that then their things get frostbitten with Sejuani in play. Fuck doesn't make a lot of sense if, if all their stuff gets frostbitten. Please, I have connections. <laughs> yeah, we're 30 minutes in. This is our first game. Yeah, this is like a 30 minute game. This is a long one. Opponent's probably used to that, right? Lethal with Atrocity. Yeah, a 
atrocity lethal. Okay. All right, so I played the first game, or I played the first like four turns pretty messy. First five turns. Turn three, four, and five. I did not do the right thing on turn on any of those turns. <laughs> and, and so we were kind of a little bit behind because of that. Well, not just kind of a little bit. Yeah, we were behind because of that. But we stabilized, got the win. All right. Ooh, that, that plug, or let's see, that Hogtie bot, that is the wrong plug. Wrong time. That should be 4 p.m. Eastern, not 3. There we go. All right, uh, see you, Sejuani, and let's go. Do y'all like playing Jagged Butcher on turn one or waiting? I guess we'll kind of see what they do. All right, if they have nothing on turn one, I guess we'll play this on turn one. <clears throat> and then we can just go straight to attack. And then Merchant. Take six. Just static shock both of these. And then untap, make it rain. Plus raider. Or I guess I should make it rain right now to trigger the gangplank level up. Do that right now before they play. Calista. Yep. That's fine. Yuck. The winter's claw strikes. That was like the worst card for me to see. Wraith Caller. Hey, Gamma with the donation deck. Thank you. Yeah, we've gotten three donation decks today. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna be doing another donation deck day soon. It's only three? Oh, right, turn one. I didn't get anything turn one. Right, right, right. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Today. 
All right, so Gangplank won't be leveled up. Ooh. You own what you take. That's nice, though. Hey, Mayor. We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. Stand and fight. All right, well, leveled up Callista it is. Callista brings back Wraithcaller, which is annoying. The winter's claw I mean, I could have just not challenged the Wraithcaller. I guess I just didn't have to do that. But that Callista's probably just leveling up. I got leveled up champions too. Fearsome, I can't block with the 2 3. Safety will cost you. Possession? So I'm not going to have room for a powder keg, am I? Please don't kill Sejuani. No. Everything trail sharpens our resolve. No. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. That makes this game much more difficult. Mystic shot that's not going upstairs. Now these things have one damage on them. Don't stand in my way. Blow them to the dead. And so now the gangplank will finish him off with that attack trigger. Here with this, this blocking. Hey Gucci. You've concerns, do you? It's all good. A little bit late, but you're here now, and I really appreciate it. So they're at five. It's not a bad draw, as far as draws are concerned. It's not a bad one. Let 
I don't think this kills them. No, this isn't going to be lethal. I think this puts them to one. Powder monkey! Powder monkey lethal! Powder monkey lethal! Get a monkey! Yeah, the Riptide animation is too slow, and it's just it's just too many cannon cannonballs. Like each there's seven of them and each one fires three things. When it only does two damage. Like each one should just fire two. It should just be like two, 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 you know, that's I would cut it down considerably. Um, what do y'all think of Warning Shot Jagged Butcher turn one? Good idea, bad idea. The good idea part is we can't do any damage to them round one anyway, because they have the attack token. Not worth. Bad. Because, like, this deck, like, we're trying to do damage to them in five different turns anyway, right? So, like, that's, that's like, just one turn that we're doing damage to them in. I feel like that could be a good idea. Alright, most people say it's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea. We're going for it. going to be doing on their for their mana fight or die to get rich dang they really like protecting their omen hawks it's like, they did all this stuff, and all they have... Like, yeah, they killed a couple of my things, but now they're just going to have a 1-1 one, one and a 2-1 Omen Hawk. Ooh. Thank you, Omen Hawk. Alright, that game was a little quicker. One mana, three threes. All right, Gangplank Plunder, three and oh. This looks pretty sweet. <laughs> Card steal is ridiculous. We need a three mana. 4-4. Four, four. Um, what am I doing with you, Hired Gun? Just a 2-mana two 2-3. Two, three. 3-mana, three 4-4, four, four, Elusive Lifesteal. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. That's, a, that's above the curve. Better than average, I'd say. Winter's Claw Strikes!
Luigi. Dang, double Mystic Shot. It's unfortunate. Not a great card to take. Static Shock's not probably not doing that much here. You know the value of coin. Arr, excuse you. They would have gone barrier and would have static shocked him. So I can get a 1 mana 5-5? Five five? That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, it'll just be a 0 mana 5-5? Five five? That's even better. Ooh, a progress day. That's not bad. These old eyes still see far. You weren't using it. Another progress day? Oh man. Someone's gonna run out of gas and it's not me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I meant to play the monkey. No, I meant to play the monkey. Oh, no. I just clicked OK one too many times. No, monkey idol. A true Falyorian welcome. Safety will cost you. Winter, take you. We are getting pretty close to their Vi and Ezreal. Alright, so where are we at? We're at 2 out of 5. I used the wrong warning shot. I need to use the warning shot they know. That's the warning shot they know about. So they still know that I have a warning shot in hand. Should have Vi and Ezreal by now. One girl wrecking crew. Hmm. Powder Monkey. While I really want to, or Monkey Idol. While I really want to play Monkey Idol because it's a cool card. Not very good against Challenger Vi. Admittedly, not very good there. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Show me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Play dirt. All right, so now I want them to draw these mushrooms. Obviously, if we if we draw their cards that have mushrooms on them, we take damage. So we don't want to do that. Darn. I wanted to give them 10 puff caps and hope they drew one, and then that would turn on my Riptide Rex right now. Say so. Pain is nothing. 
We've got Avaros and Sentry. So yep, they did have their champions, two Ezreals and a Vi. So sure, they get to do one damage to us, create a Mystic Shot, but they can't do anything with that Mystic Shot. They are tapped out. They're out there. I'll spot them. Come on! Only one thing to Ezreal? Really? <laughs> really? So we hit head six times and tails one time, and we have to hit tails twice? I mean, I, we're gonna win this. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know why I'm really that bad. Like, what could they have that could actually kill us? I don't, I don't know. I mean, let's see, they have Harsh Wind. I guess Harsh Wind, yeah. They, yeah, I guess, okay, maybe, okay, maybe they could win. Okay, never mind. Yeah, just the Harsh Wind's actually there in a pretty good spot. Or that card. That's not bad. That takes out two things. Ooh, good draw. Get rid of that blocker. Good draw. can't just block here and then take 12. I don't miss. I wanted to do that before um before they put puff caps into my deck. All right, 4-0. I know, uh, no, you want him to die to puff caps? It's close. So close, yeah, they, did, they just didn't draw that puff cap. Yeah, Ezreal's definitely less scary, or less scary taking both progress days. We've been doing a good job of that, of taking the top end. Because, uh, you know, the, that was at the game one. We took a, a Pilfer Goods, took a They Who Endure, and an Atrocity in one Pilfer Goods. And this, it was what, Yordle Grifter is it? I guess, no, Black Market Merchant and Yordle Grifter. Taking those, let's see. Oh, the deep deck. The steel cards aren't as good against the deep decks. So it just helps them get deep. So do I just mulligan everything? Do I keep Gangplank Sejuani? Is mulligan at all? This is... This is a difficult mulligan decision. I've had easier ones. Let's keep Gangplank. <laughs> Go for milling them out. Oh, yuck. Double warning shot, make it rain. Yuck. Yeah, this can be a tough matchup if, you know, like, things go their way. Just looking like things are going their way. Yeah, that's... They got a good start. Yeah, maybe I should have just held on to Pilfer Goods and just wait for them to toss the rest of their deck and then try to steal whatever they got left. No! 
I should have played one of these warning shots on turn one so I could have leveled up Gangplank. Turn five. I guess I don't have the attack token in turn five, so never mind, it doesn't matter. Good card to take. I want to see them, uh, as far as tossing, I want to see them tossing cards like Vengeance. Yuck. Cards that, um... That would be good to steal later on. Oh, no, 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 because never mind, because never mind, like, those cards aren't coming back when never, Nautilus levels up. Never mind. Never mind. That's opposite of what I'm saying. Never mind. Alright, just play that warning shot they know about. So, yeah, never mind. Just ignore what I was saying. They just pass very quickly. That's like a, I want to play Jaw Hunters this right now pass. No, my steel cards. Whoa, more steel cards. Good one. They already deep. So I want to play Gangplank. What's the best thing they can play at six mana? Like if I play Gangplank, I mean, I guess they could have a. Do they just have Ruination? Is that what they were trying to set up? They usually play one Ruination. Man, how much would a blowout would that be if I play Gangplank and they Ruination? Maybe I'll just hit him for eight. That's just, that's just too risky. They just don't have any cards left to. Safety will cost you. What if they just don't have any cards left to toss? level up Maokai. There's no cards left. The water rises. All right, so they go from 11 to 15. All right, so they put four sea monsters back in there. Do you need to get cards out of my hands? Yeah, you don't want to cross. No. On that sea monster. Here's a big one. I'm probably attacking. Going 
harvesting. Fill their lungs. We either have Sejuani or the three one in on top, and I really, really hope it's Sejuani. Before they start playing a whole bunch more sea monsters. I don't want to give them th that opportunity. I'd like to do five damage to them if possible. those cards. Sajwani draw is really good because I'm worried about um, all right, so I need to keep the six mana up. I'm worried about, oh, I guess, okay. I'm worried about the elusive. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we have to be worried about that elusive. Success gets you uh, here. Sea monster. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I just play Sejuani? What am I doing? Why didn't I just play Sejuani? I should, because then I still have the warning shot to frostbite the elusive one. I was thinking, do this to the elusive one. Oh, I should have just played Sejuani. What am I doing? I didn't play around atrocity. I was too focused on that and not focused on another atrocity. Uh, I could have won that. Man, this game's hard. <laughs> this game's hard. It's tunnel visioned on the elusive and Dang, that's why it's so hard to get that 5-0. You know, I should have had that 5-0. I should have. We had that. And I, I think I played that pretty well for the most part until then. Um exactly. Because yeah, I still could have frostbitten the elusive with the uh with the warning shots in hand. So like I it was just it was just I, I should have just played Sejuani. Like there's no excuse to not play Sejuani right there. It was just the card to play. Yeah. So um it was basically like after <laughs> it was before they played Atrocity, after I played Hired Gun. I realized that I just I you know I yeah it took me a little bit to to realize that I'd still have the frostbite for that and I realized it a little bit afterwards and and then they played the atrocity and then I felt bad. Darn. Well, this deck was pretty awesome. You know, like this really should have been a five zero. It it really should have like the the deck the deck won that game. I didn't. I lost it. 
um yeah we would have been just fine with with double warning shot with that like there's they can't win anymore um do you think sejuani misfortune is slightly better and easier to play or what for this deck um i don't know i was really i was impressed with this one the sejuani misfortune deck i'm kind of meh on that deck honestly like yeah i'm just kind of mad on that deck what's up fresh lobster welcome everybody from the lobster stream i om we almost had a 5-0 here with gangplank um welcome everybody we almost had a 5-0 with gangplank plunder but i i messed up the the very end of the last game um I was at three against the deep deck, and I was worried about them playing the um, the elusive uh, sea monster, and so I was holding on to. So I held on to. So I didn't play Sejuani first during the turn because I wanted to. I want them them to play the elusive sea monster. Then I play Sejuani when I should have just played the Sejuani and Frostbitten. They had one other thing, like they just played a, a Devour. And I should just play the Sejuani and, and Frostbite in it because I had Warning Shot to Frostbite. It was just, it was something I realized right afterwards. I was still going to have that uh, Sejuani be able to Frostbite them anyway. But yeah, I was really impressed with this deck. I really liked how it played. The Monkey Idol is probably unnecessary, but it's not bad. It's like, there's nothing wrong with it. And it kind of fits the curve here with the 2-3-4 um, just fine, so... You know, I liked it. And, and it, it is a Bilgewater card. And that's important because with this deck, you really don't want your Yordle Grifters missing. So it's important to have the Bilgewater card. And so having it on turn three, perfectly fine. And, you know, it, it levels up your Gangplank and Sejuani. So, yeah, it's not... It's it's the weakest card in the deck, but it's also uh, it also fits pretty well. So... Um, yeah, so Gangplank and Sejuani always being leveled is awesome. Um, having all these warning shots, having Yordle Grifter make warning shot and just playing three warning shots really is awesome with Sejuani and the whole Frostbite their, their team all the time. So yeah, what could replace Monkey? I don't know. Um, you'd probably want something that does damage. I mean, like Parlay is slow speed, but maybe like Parlay... Um, you know, like you probably want bilge water card and bilge water card that does direct damage. Like if Ember, if Ember Maiden was bilge water, Ember Maiden would fit pretty well here, but it's not bilge water. I don't really want anything more expensive, you know, like I don't really want more like expensive cards. Um, yeah, like, a, so it would, it would, you definitely want something cheaper. I mean, you could go Dreadweight Deckhand, I guess, but I, I don't like Dreadweight Deckhand. I'd rather play Monkey Idol than Dreadweight Deckhand. But uh, if, like, Hired Gun is good. Um, Jaw Hunters is good. Like, if you want Monkey Idols to just, like, two of them to be the third the third Hired Gun and the third Jaw Hunters, that is uh, certainly acceptable. But no, I don't, I don't really like these things that just make the, the powders, honestly. I don't really like um, Petty Officer and... Uh, and Dreadway Deckhand and that kind of stuff. Parlay is pretty good. I mean, Omen Hawk is just amazing. So, like, just playing Omen Hawks is is just fine. I mean, it it does make it would make Yordle Grifter worse, but Omen Hawk is just so good. So I wouldn't mind that either. Or if you want, uh, if you want like Elixir of Iron. Uh, you could play. Uh, what was I thinking? If you if you want like late game card draw, you could have like salvage. You could go that. You could go. I mean, you could play Wolf Rider in this deck pretty easily too. We don't have like that many fours. You could go Wolf Rider, but again, that's a a for all your card. That could be a Wolf Rider deck. Um. But yeah, Monkey Idol is just fine. Like it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's it's not like something that I'm saying you got to replace it. It's not good. It's just fine. Um, yeah, Zap Sprayfin also, because Zap Sprayfin gives you the elusive damage, which is nice, and also an elusive blocker. Um, elusive threats were kind of were, were kind of annoying to deal with, and so yeah, having an elusive blocker, not bad. 
uh, you know, you're, it's drawing you uh, pill for goods, make a rain warning shot. Those cards were all pretty good for us. Um, you know, maybe I'm not sure if you want like a full three because, you know, like you, then you start getting a lot of fours. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. You, know, you could play like another higher gun, a zap spray fin and like a parlay, you know, something like that. You know, you can kind of switch it up. You don't have to just play like three of one card. You could spread it out also. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, Zap Zap's good. Zap spray fin's good. And usually with these kind of decks, you know, you have Twisted Fate also. So usually you're kind of filled up on the four mana slot with Twisted Fate, Yolo Grifter, and Zap Spray Fin. So not having Twisted Fate means you're a little bit easier on that four mana slot with just having the Yolo Grifters in here. Yeah, overall, this deck's really good. Yeah, no, I, I really like this list. I think this was a, a good deck. Um, I, I liked Gangplank and Sejuani together and leveling up both of those. I like how uh, when, when they are leveled up, um, Gangplank's, um, you know, attack trigger means that, that all of your opponent's enemies are frostbitten before they get to block, you know, like before damage happens at all. Like that's really nice. And then you can, you can have that on your turn attacking and you can save the warning shot for whenever they're attacking. Pretty nice. Okay. Uh, there we go. So that's Gangplank Plunder. Those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments, uh, questions, all that kind of stuff as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.